All right. Hello, salut, and konnichiwa, mis amigos, and welcome back to the channel. With the NFL season approaching, and since I'm a fiend for football, college or NFL, even high school in some cases, I decided to try and predict the season and see how these teams end up. I'm going to preface this with, I am a Jets fan, unfortunately, so I'm not going to put them here because I don't think they'll be here, but we'll get to that when we come forward. Arizona Cardinals. Um, with the DeAndre Hopkins suspension, which I don't remember how much it is at this point. Um, Kyler Murray essentially having the Russell Wilson trait, which is play like MVP for half a season and then shit the bed for the rest. And then I think the Niners, Rams, and Seahawks. Well, the Seahawks are going to take a step back, obviously. Rams are pretty much the same, if not reloaded. I think the Cardinals, yeah, I think they're like, I think their max is 10, 8, went, mm, no, they're probably about in this range, not quite 11, but they might get a wild card spot. And then Falcons. Unless Marcus Mariota returns to his rookie-esque form. Kyle Pitts is not going to get you five plus wins, regardless. So, I think their max is probably four wins. Um, Baltimore Ravens. Can't really count out the Ravens and Jim Harbaugh. Not Jim Harbaugh, John Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh is coaching at Michigan. Um, John Harbaugh, Lamar Jackson, they have a healthy backfield unlike last season, so they should be good, pushing for the number one seed, which personally would probably be the Bills for me, which is why, uh, you know, just getting motivated by them all the time, lately, and unfortunately, unlike Sam Darnold, Josh Allen has developed into a great quarterback, so they're definitely at 11 plus wins. Speaking of Sam Darnold, his current team, although he's a backup, actually he has an ankle injury, I think. So I don't know if he's actually active currently. Panthers. I believe in Baker Mayfield. I thought he was a better quarterback coming out than Sam Darnold, which is why I wanted the Jets to draft him, but that didn't really happen. Um, their defense is a little sus. I'll put him at, this is like a soft eight wins. Like, I, I can see them getting nine to ten. So, that's where I put the Panthers. The Bears. Um, Justin Feet, I mean, their roster is just in shambles. The Lions, I feel like I have a better roster, and that's saying a lot. I'm putting the Bears down here. Like Justin Fields can't carry that team, and their receiver room is kind of garbage. Bengals. It's kind of hard not to put the Super Bowl runner up up here, so I'm not not going to. Uh, Browns aren't going to win without Deshaun Watson. Their defense is only going to get them so far, and even with Deshaun, um, he hasn't played, and I think like. What, two years? Something like that? I don't really think they'll be all that great. Their defense and Nick Chubb will probably carry them, but it's like I I don't put them in the same realm of the Cardinals, who I think are a more playoff red team. The Cowboys, same realm. As long as they although they have Tyron Smith injured. Fight on, baby. USC fan over here. Um, they're still a better team than everything else. I'm going to buy in to Dangerous, and I think they were only a quarterback away, so even though they have 
Oh, not no, Tim Patrick got injured. Cortland Sutton's fine. So even without Tim Patrick, I think, I think this is honestly like, I'll put them at 10 because they have to go through the gauntlet that is the AFC West. Um, Lions, I'm going to buy into the Dan Campbell and put them above the Bears. I think they're going to finish with a better record than the Bears, to be honest. Green Bay's Green Bay, so. I mean, 11 wins. They have, like, no receivers. Uh, yeah, 10. If they had a better receiving room, I'd put them up, but they don't, so. Texans, Davis Mills, is, he's good, but the roster around him is not completely there so I'm gonna go with 0 and 4 or not 0 and 4 but 0 to 4 wins although I don't think anybody's getting 0 wins this year um the Colts with Matt Ryan no matter how the playoffs go Matt Ryan is usually pretty good in the regular season and that roster even with Carson Wentz at the helm, which I don't really think Carson Wentz is a bad quarterback, but that's just me, apparently. I like him. I liked him coming out of North Dakota State, and he was going to win MVP before he injured his leg. Nick Foles had to take over. So, and they had Nick Foles as a, as a backup. So, I think that the quarterback room combined with the dominant defense and Jonathan Taylor will be good enough to get 11 plus wins. Jaguars, they'll be improved, but not by much. Just in the same realm as the Lions. Like, they'll be on the upside. Um, Kansas City kind of have to put them in 11 plus wins. Although the AFC West is going to be ridiculous. And, and the K Kansas City is like the only team that actually got worse comparatively to the rest of the division. More conference. I don't know exactly how it is. No, it's a division. Chargers. Probably down here. They choked away a lot of games. They could have went to the playoffs, but their coach was an idiot, and the Raiders were going to be kind enough to actually let them into the playoffs. And then they said, we're going to call a timeout. So the Raiders are like, F you guys. You guys can go watch the playoffs at home. But in any event, yeah, five to eight wins. Defense isn't all the way there yet. The offensive line, it's better, but not the best. Keenan Allen's always going to be goaded at receiver, but it's just like there's too many question marks for me to put them higher. Rams, I don't have very many question marks. They're about the same, if not better, with Allen Robinson and... Bobby Wagner, that's who it was. I don't know why I was going to say someone else. They lost. They could still re-sign OBJ. Obviously, reigning MVP, Cooper Cup. So they should be fine. Raiders, I think the Raiders, even with Josh Daniels, are going to be a surprise. Do I think they're in the same realm as the Chiefs? No, but I think that they're... Probably about 10 wins, if not, honestly, if not 11. This is a soft 10. I think the Raiders are a very good team, and they proved that last season. Miami Dolphins, they have to be better, to be honest. I don't think their running back room is super great, and they're not going to be a pass-first team. And with two, I like Tua. I don't think Tua's bad, but... I mean, with no good running back room, they have a decent one, but I don't think it's great. I'm, mm, I'm going to put them here, but same thing with the, uh, who was it? Yeah, the Browns. Oh, no, same thing as the Panthers. They're kind of like, they're there to be there, just kind of a placeholder. So we'll see what happens there. Vikings. I... Th I don't. I think they're on the low end. They're on the low end of five and eight. I think they're like six wins, seven maybe at best. I think they're gonna have a roster turnaround next year, and they're gonna get rid of Kirk Cousins. 
and probably end up drafting somebody. Maybe like a Will Levis. Will Levis would be pretty nice in this draft, in, in next year's draft. Patriots, I have to put them there because Bill Belichick. I have no other opinion on them. I'm just going to go on. Jameis and the Saints. Since they have to go through Tampa Bay. Although the Falcons and who's the other team in their conference? In their division. Tampa Bay. Oh, Jaguars. Right? No, that's AFC. NFC. Uh, who else is the NFC South? Titans? No, it's not the Titans. Can't be. Oh, wait. It's the Titans. Whatever. No, this is NFC. No, no, no. Anyway, whatever. Saints, about 10 wins. Leave it at that. Giants are going to suck. I don't care what anybody says. Giants are going to suck. Unless they make a change at quarterback, they're going to be trash. I, as a Jets fan, this is good enough. Eight wins would be phenomenal. I'm pushing nine. If we make the playoffs this year, I will cry. But... The roster is getting there. I don't think it's already there. There's too much youth and new faces on the roster. And Zach Wilson still needs to prove that he can be that guy. So, like a soft seven is where I put him at. Um, Eagles. Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, Miles Sanders. Kenneth Gainwell on the defense. I think they make the playoff again, except they make it more convincingly this year. I think the Eagles are right about there. Steelers. Mike Tomlin is always going to have this team in a good place, so I'm going to put them up here. Simply because Mike Tomlin is the football coach. If it wasn't for Mike Tomlin, they would be down here. But I'm going to go ahead and put them right here. Seahawks, trash, roster, not happening. Niners, they're going to have a drop-off. I think they missed the playoffs, and they're in, I think they're eight wins or nine wins, and they missed the playoffs. The Tampa Bay Gronkineers are going to be 11 plus. Can't really, I don't think you can really argue with that, to be honest. Tennessee Titans. With Ryan Tannehill or Malik Willis, I think they're probably a little bit more of a threat with Malik Willis, but they're probably going to go with Ryan Tannehill. So Derek Henry is going to get you enough games. So I'm going to put them in this probably like a close to 10 wins. Commanders probably not going to be that good. Do I really? I feel like I can't put the Lions in the same thing as like the Niners and Dolphins so I'm going to move Lions and Jaguars down here I'm so tempted to move the Vikings down but I think that's going to do it for me this is going to be my prediction for the year get out of here sales um, we'll revisit this at the end of the year and see where we all ended up in any event, see you guys in the next one.